Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here. Welcome back to Eldritch Horror Cthulhu Turn 8. Um, slight correction to make from last turn. When Patrice cast Arcane Insight and I did the flip, of course it says that investigator loses two sanity unless they have a tome possession. So it wasn't actually Patrice. So it was Diana, and Diana didn't have a tome. So she has lost two sanity, Diana, which puts her on one sanity, which changes things a bit. Um, she can't really get sent another clue because we'd need more. Because on the flip, if you noticed, it was up to. Th we needed three successes. I don't think that Patrice would get three successes. In all honesty, and even if Diana rested, that would mean she had two sanity, and she'd lose two sanity, go bonkers, and wouldn't be able to fight the actual deep one. So we're gonna we'll do something differently. Bit of a change round, but obviously with her losing two sanity in that way, we've um, we've got to change our plans. Okay, uh, first player is gonna stay as Patrice. So let's get straight into the action phase. And here we are with Patrice. Patrice is going to cast Arcane Insight again, but this time the focus of her clue sending is going to be a catchy. It's just going to give us another reroll chance for a catchy because she really does need to use Cult de Ghoul. So, we get three dice. And we get one success. A catchy does have a tone. She has Cult de Ghoul. So, yeah, not to, not to two. Exactly the same as Diana. Diana didn't have a tone, but a catchy does. So, she doesn't lose any sanity. So, that's one clue to a catchy. There we go. Additionally, what we'll have is Patrice is going to move to Tokyo. Couple of reasons for this. She can help kill the Shoggoth on Buenos Aires, and we might actually use her to kill that zombie and stop it being a zombie horde. Just depends if we get lucky during the encounter phase. So that's Patrice's actions. Next up is Akachi, who's still in Arkham. And here we are with Akachi. First thing she's going to do is she is going to focus. Again, this is just another opportunity to give us something that could possibly give us a re-roll. Well, there's the focus. And then she's going to test Law, because she's going to use her artifact, Cult de Ghoul. Action. Test Law, which is three. If you pass, you may spend one sanity to gain two clues. Righty-ho. Yes! We get the two clues. Right, there we go. So she now has three clues. So that's okay, it means now that we've got a focus and a clue, a spare clue, for the actual observation test during the encounter phase to try and get rid of this rumour. So that's good stuff. Right, next up after a catchy it will be Diana Stanley. And here we are with Diana. For the first time in a long time, Diana's going to get to do two actions. The first action is going to be a rest action. So she's going to get a precious sanity. She can't get a health because she's back. She's already at seven. So she's up to two sanity now. And her final action is going to be to move back to Buenos Aires. Where the Shoggoth is and the gate. So that's it for Diana. Next up is Skids O'Toole. And here we are with Skids. What he's going to do first is he's going to rest. 
So he will get up to three health and he'll be fully up to speed at six sanity. Then what he's going to do is he's going to move. He's going to move to space 18. All things considered, Akachi hopefully will have two goes at the rumour in Arkham because we are due a green Mythos card. If you remember, if you have a look at the, uh, the Mythos deck setup, we've had three yellow ones. So it must be the green one that's left. So that means we won't be getting a reckoning. So from what I've been able to uh, understand from how this works, blues give you rumours, yellows give you reckonings, and greens give you monster surges. So we've got a monster surge coming up, which will probably be at Rome, because that's a sunburst gate, and it's sunburst coming up next. So um, that'll give us two goals with a catchy to try and solve the rumour. Therefore... Skids doesn't particularly have to go to Antarctica to cover. So he'll go to Space 18. Why Space 18? Well, he's got an Eldritch token on it. And he we want him to defeat a deep one. But also, it means he can then, next turn, should he defeat the deep one, he can get to Cape Town. And Cape Town's nice. It's fairly central. It's not too far from the heart of Africa either, which is another potential landing place if we don't manage to solve the rumour with a catchy. So he'll go there and then we'll have a look whether he'll uh, pile in to help at Buenos Aires or perhaps head up towards Rome and Istanbul. He might have to head up to Rome because if we get a monster surge, well, we're going to have a lot of monsters in Rome and he's our monster killer. So he's gone to space 18. Right, that's it for the action phase. Let's do the encounter phase. Here we are in Tokyo with Patty. So, Far East deck. Tokyo. You pull some strings with the Silver Twilight Lodge to help Detective Koban Akechi solve a case. Influence minus one. What's her influence? Her influence is three. We put it up, didn't we, a few turns ago. So we're going to get two dice. A five, a success. Yes. If you pass, he's impressed and offers you his case files in exchange for your help on another matter. Gain one old journal unique asset and one task unique asset. Well, that's pretty good. We could have done with some monster help. but um, So an old journal unique asset. Well, here's the unique asset. And what was the other a task? So first task and the first old journal asset we come up to. Looks like no. Courier run task. So we've got a courier run task. That came up first. And now we want an old journal. For the great good. The great good. Mysterious idol. Stone tablet. Season the gold one. Stone chest. Father Maluzzo. Sacrifices to make. That's an after great. Old journal. Item tome. If you pass, you discover information that may prove useful to your cause. Flip this card. Yes, testing observation during the action phase. Yes, and we're not planning on moving her from Tokyo, so she'll have a chance to do this, I think. So that's the old journal. Let's have a read of the courier run. A task. When you gain this card from the deck, place one random clue that corresponds to a city space face up on this card. After resolving a location encounter on that space, flip this card. Cool. Alright, so let's put them over with Patrice. Good stuff. 
So, like I say, unfortunate we didn't manage to get uh, get anything onto a monster anywhere. But still a pretty good turn from Patrice. She's got two assets. Let me just check. Let me just check that. See if I've done it right. Okay, one old journal and one unit, yep. Just checking we got both, and it wasn't uh, take one, discard the other. That's it for Patrice. A catchy. Let's get over to Arkham. And here we are in Arkham. So let's have a look at Secrets of the Past. As an encounter, an investigator on the active expedition space may attempt to uncover secrets lost to time and history. So we get an observation test. Right. Her observation is two. Come on, I catch you. Six. She's done it. Woo! So let's have a quick look. If they pass, they may spend clues equal to half the investigators to solve this rumour. Top, top, top. So let's get those two clues. There they are. Discard those clues. Discard this horrible rumour. It's gone. Put it in the Mythos deck. Discard. Get rid of that. And that is fantastic news. We're not going to lose because of that rumour. And if we're correct about it being a green Mythos, the actual expedition encounter won't move. I don't think I can do an expedition encounter now because on that rumour card it said as an encounter. So I think that counts as our encounter. But I don't think that's going to move because the Mythos card should be a monster surge. So we will get a chance to do an expedition encounter next turn if there's nothing more pressing for Akachi to actually do. Right, great stuff, Akachi. Next up, we've got Diana Stanley. She's in Buenos Aires. It's not looking quite as rosy for her. And here we are with Diana. Obviously, first of all, she's got to fight the Shoggoth. So there are some minor things in our favour. One, all this lose three sanity rubbish. It's Diana Stanley. She'll only ever lose one sanity when uh, doing a horror check against a monster. So she's got a will check of one die. To see if she can avoid losing that sanity. She can indeed. So she keeps two sanity. That is great. Seeing as she's got so little sanity. Next up, we've got the strength test. Now she's got a strength of three, but we do have the lucky cigarette case. And so the minus two will have one die, but we have the lucky cigarette case, but we also have Kid O'Brien. So we've got one guaranteed success. So there is already one wound on this shog off. Yes! Another six, that's two wounds on the Shoggoth. It means Diana doesn't lose any health. And we put two wounds on the Shoggoth. Again, if we're correct in us getting a green Mythos card next up, then what's going to happen is there won't be a Reckoning. It won't be able to get rid of those two wounds. So we will have a chance to kill it next turn, whether with help from Patrice or just Diana rolling like a demon, like she just has there. So that's brilliant stuff. Well done, Diana. Right. Next, it will be... Oh, it's Deep One. Can we kill a keep Deep One? Come on, skids. Let's get to Space 18 in the South Southern Indian Ocean. And here we are with skids. So, usual drill, um, he's going to get ambushed by a deep one. Here it is. We've seen it all before with Diana. So, he's got a will test. Skids does need to make two successes in order to um, not lose any sanity. So, his will is three. So, three dice for Skids. Skids. 
So, should I spend one of his focuses? No, he's just going to lose two sanity. He's going to go. He's, he's going to save those focuses. So, he's now down to four sanity. But now it's the big one. We've got the strength test. He's got the blunderbuss. He's got dynamite, but I'm probably I'm not going to use that. Um, I don't think. Um, we only need to get two successes. One to avoid losing any health. So he's got six. Six strength, which goes down to four. Uh, sorry, five because of the minus one. And he gets plus two from the blunderbuss itself. So that'll be seven dice. Seven dice, any sixes, a double. And as, as we all know, skids doesn't roll ones. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dice. Right, he got one six, which is enough. Um, he did get three ones. But as I say, we would just re-roll these ones until he didn't get a one. We may as well do that, I suppose, for the sake of completeness. He gets another success. And there's another one that he has to re-roll. That's a four. So in the end, he got three hits. The deep one's gone. In more ways than one, because this Eldritch token goes onto the mystery. Let's have a quick read. At the end of the Mythos phase, so we've got to wait till the end of the Mythos phase, if there are Eldritch tokens on this card equal to the Investigators, which there are now, solve this mystery. We will not be discard. Do not discard the Eldritch token! We will not be discarding any Eldritch tokens that remain on the board. So Space 12, Antarctica and Space 13 will stay where they are. Okie dokie. Talking of the laugh and chuckle phase. That is exactly where we're going now as it, Skids was the last investigator in the encounter phase. So let's see if we're right about that Mythos card. Here we are at the Mythos phase. It should be green. If I set up the pack, the deck correctly, it should be green. I did. I did set it up correctly. So we've got omen movement, omen trap movement. We go on to a red sunburst. We have got one gate at Rome. So we move down to ten on the doom track. And then we get a monster surge. So Monster Surge is on Sunburst, so we're going to get the Monster Surge at Rome. We get two monsters in a Monster Surge. So, the old hand in the tentacle bag. And let's pull them out. Cholchos, Mini Patrick Stewart's. They're only one. Only one toughness. These guys seem okay. And if you defeat the monster, it goes back into the box. I think. Oh no, it says nothing about putting them back in the box. We get one random item asset from the deck. Woo! -hoo. So we've got him. Oh, full toughness, whatever this is. Not a Chthonian man. But the good thing about this Chthonian means it goes to the heart of Africa. We've got no reason, particularly, to go to the heart of Africa as it stands because we solved that rumour. So that will get sent to the heart of Africa, which is good because. I don't like Chthonians. Right, let me just set that up. Okay, there we go. And we get two clues. Excellent. Not looking, there's one, and there's another. Right, so we've got space four, which is Northern Canada, and space nine, oh, space six, sorry, which is New Orleans or 
Houston or Dallas or somewhere around there. Right, so that's that done. In the night, oh tentacles. In the night sky, the planets and stars have aligned, signalling the downfall of mankind. In a single night, tragedy befalls humanity all across the glo glo globe. This is a green one. Event. Discard two Eldritch tokens from each rumour mythos card in play. It's gone, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Oh, I've got to check now, haven't I? Oh, it'll be on the end of here. We get rid of it immediately, don't we? Yes, it doesn't say anything about waiting until the Mythos phase. So, phew, let me know. That was a bit of a heart attack moment. So, we've got no Mythos card in play. Rumor Mythos card. If there are no Rumor Mythos cards in play with Eldritch tokens on them, advance, advance the Omen by one. So, that goes up to a blue constellation. We've got Buenos Aires. So, essentially... This rumour, uh, sorry, this Mythos card has caused us to move the Doom track up twice. But we're still only on nine, so that's not too bad. It's not ideal, but it's not too bad. But thankfully, we didn't have to set two Eldritch tokens off that bloody Secrets of the Past rumour. Foo, foo, foo. Lucky again. I count that as lucky. Right, so that's it. The end of the Mythos phase. Another pretty spectacular turn, I think. Um, I'll go and upload this, and I'll be back shortly with the turn review. Do oh, Tell us about the rabbit scab weasel. Yes. I always seem to forget this, don't I? The end of the Mythos phase, and the mystery cards. So, the end of the mystery cards... Uh, the end of the mystery card is... The end of the mythos phase if there are eldritch token on this card equal to the number of investigators there are there are four solve the mystery we leave the tokens on the board so that's cool let's uh, put all these tokens back we solve the mystery and let's find what the new mystery is the stars are right this doesn't sound good all around the world, Cthulhu's worshippers and those sensitive to his dreams have been plagued by madness. They rush to the sea to witness the Ancient One's return. When this card enters play, move each clue on the game board to the nearest sea space. After an investigator resolves a research encounter, he may spend one clue he gained from that encounter and place that clue on this card. At the end of the Mythos phase, if there are clues on this card equal to the investigator, solve this mystery. Right, so it means... We're pretty much zooming onto sea spaces. So each clue has got to go to the nearest sea space. Right. So. Oof. Can you have two clues on a sea space? Because that might happen. Let's move that clue to the Bermuda Triangle. The one here can go to space two. Um, three's already on one. Jakarta, what's the nearest to there? Probably one, two to space 18, where Skids is. That'll be helpful. And we've just got one more clue, haven't we? Which is this one at five. So it can't go on two, but it can go. There's nothing over here. So think if it it just says the nearest doesn't it so that's got to be the nearest so there's got to be two clues on there if you can't have two clues on the same space let me know and we'll put it somewhere else but i think we've pretty much put everything where we can put it i think jakarta one two yeah and it'd be one two to get to there i suppose you see this is one of the things where Ideally, I think I can pick, yeah? Let me know if I can't, because if I can pick, this clue at Jakarta could either go to space, to this space, what is it, space 2, or to space 18. 
Now, I think if we can have more than one clue in a space, it's going to go there because I can just have somebody sit there and like pick up clues. I think it can only pick up clues once at one at a time. Mind you, saying that, no, I can only pick up clues one at a time. I don't think I'd be able to pick up all three, and it's got an Eldritch token on it. So we'll put the clue to Skids because he's there and he could pretty much pick it up um, straight away, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Mind you, that one might just end up getting an Eldritch token if we get a Reckoning this turn coming up. Ugh, what a load of bloody messing around. Let's put it on, yeah, we'll put it back up here at two. I think I can only pick one up at a time during the encounter phase, but it means we only lose one sanity moving to that space because of the Eldritch token, and then we can just sit there. So uh, we'll do that. Okay, right, that is it for the Mythos phase. See you in a bit for the turn review. Hello everyone, welcome to the turn review. Just a quick thing to do is we have to put a city clue on, what is it, courier run, which is there. So let's just keep picking them out until we find one. 11, no, that's a sea space. Tunguska, no. Tokyo! And she's there! Ha 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 ha! Lucky if I pin this turn! <laughs> right, so I'll put that clue on uh, Tokyo right next to her. <laughs> right, turn review. Well, in general, in this turn review, I think I've been fairly lucky, and I think that's just been reinforced in the last 10 seconds. Uh, we started with Patrice. Patrice was in Tokyo. She managed to send arcane, use Arcane Insight and she sent a clue to Akachi um, just to really bolster any re-rolls she might get. Uh, then she had an encounter which um, she didn't put any hurting on any monsters but she did get an old journal and she did get the courier run as we've just seen there. Akachi. Akachi was at Arkham. Um, what she did was she rested. Uh, no, she didn't rest actually. She, um, what did she do now? I can't remember. One of the things she did was get a focus, definitely. Oh yes, she had to use Cult, cult de Ghoul. That was it, because it's an action. Um, she tested Law. She got her extra two clues that she needed. And she got a focus just in case she had to re-roll in the encounter phase. Then, in the encounter phase, she managed to solve the rumour because she passed the observation test and put two clues onto it. That rumour, it uh, got we got rid of it straight away. We didn't have to hang around with it. That was very, very lucky because the Mythos phase, we got a horrible card in which we would have had to take two Eldritch tokens off it. So, again, extremely lucky this turn. Diana Stanley. Diana Stanley moved from Space 12 to Buenos Aires. She also got lucky, um, though I didn't realise it at the time, by passing the actual sanity test for the horror check against the Shoggoth. The reason being, if she hadn't have passed, she'd have gone down to one sanity. Then she would have had to pass the horror test for if we fight it again, or she would have gone insane. So at least she's got one sanity in the bag, as it were. Um, so she did really well. So she rested and then she went to Buenos Aires. She managed to get two um, hits on the Shoggoth. So that was pretty cool. Skids. Skids did a man's job. He moved from Sydney. He went to Space 18. Uh, this was after he'd um, rested. And he was able to kill a Deep One. Put the final Eldritch token on the second mystery and we managed to solve that at the end of the turn so that was brilliant so well done skids right at the end of all that we got the we had the mythos phase and the mythos card it was a green mythos card and a monster surge so we got a monster surge on rome and we got a chthonian that ended up in the heart of africa and a chocho we also um got we also ended up losing um two off the doom track one for the actual omen track movement and again because we didn't have a rumor card with which to take eldritch tokens off 
So we moved from 11 on the Doom track to 9. But that's not too bad. Uh, the mystery, um, solved that and we got a new one, the stars are right. Again, this isn't too bad. We had to move all the land based clues onto the sea. And again, do tell me if I've done that right. But the, what, there was two clues in North America that um, had to go onto space two. I think I took five and four went on there. Uh, six can also go on there, to be perfectly honest. I put it on space eight, but space six is two away from eight, and it's also two away from space two. So I'm going to move it to space two. So we now have all four clues on space two. The only reason I'm doing it like that, if I can do it like that, is we can just sit somebody on that space who can cycle through doing research encounters. Um, we have got a couple of other um, clues that we can get to. There's space three and there is space, I think it's, uh, is it 15? No, 13. So we can pop up there and try and get those. We will be getting, I think, other clues coming out as we go through the turns. And if any of those end up on a C space, I do not see any reason why we cannot use those as well. So there's plenty of clues out there for us to pick up. Right, what we're going to do next turn? Who's going to go first? Well, we may as well stay with, I think, with, um, with the lovely Patrice. Why not? She can send somebody a clue again. So she'll do Arcane Insight, send somebody a clue. She'll rest. So she will get herself a health and a sanity. And she will also be able to, what is it, do the old journal. Because as an action, she'll poss possibly test observation and we'll see what we can get from that. Um, the task, because Courier Runs ended up in actual Tokyo... The German detective must have just wanted her to pop round the corner with something. So, yeah. So when we do the location encounter, we can flip this card. So, excellent. So she'll stay in Tokyo and do that. Akachi. Akachi's in Arkham. Now, she can sort of mog off and start... Um, she can start heading towards Space 2 to do all these... Um, clue encounters or we can keep her here and I think we will keep her here we'll keep her here and um, for the time being just to do the expedition and see if we can get something funky I think we have got a little bit of time and we will be able to do that she's gonna stay here she's gonna rest she's only got two health so it'll be nice that she can rest and she can also oh I think she should have lost one sanity to use Cult the Ghoul, so we'll set that off. Um, so she'll rest, she'll get a sanity and a health. Will she do Cult the Ghoul again? Mm. Du, 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 du. Why not? It'll give her three clues, I don't see why not. The main reason we're staying there is for the expedition, but we'll, get, we'll try and get another two clues off Cult the Ghoul. Then she'll do the expedition, hopefully get some funky artifact, and then uh, in further turns, we can hope to get it to space two to start picking up at some of these sea base clues. Diana Stanley, she's at Buenos Aires. Now, she could move to space three, and the reason why I might do that is I don't think the Shoggoths. So, what? So, we've got a Shoggoth. The quicker we can get clues onto this mystery, the better. So, I'm thinking of just letting the Shoggoth off, and um, she'll go to space three. By moving to space three, it means a second action can be a rest, so she can get up to three sanity, which will be helpful. And then she can try and get that clue, that turn. There's no Eldritch token on space three, so she won't lose a sanity. Uh, an Eldritch token may end up going on in a reckoning phase, but we'll just move back to Buenos Aires, I think, or perhaps over to Sydney. So that's cool for Diana. That's I think that's what she'll do, rather than try and finish the shog off off. I mean... As it is, Patrice, she's going to have a Tokyo encounter. It may be that she can like get rid of the Shoggoth with whatever encounter she gets. So we'll see how that goes. Skids O'Toole, he's obviously in the southern Indian Ocean. Uh, no reason for him to stay there. I did put the clue there. So let's indeed move into Cape Town. 
once he gets into Cape Town, what's he going to do? Well, he could rest or he could t um, test his influence. He could always take a bank loan and try and pick up, say, the Monster Hunter or the Hired Muscle or something like that, just to give him... Um, mind you, he's got the blunderbuss, so he doesn't really need that either. So he may just pick up a focus or rest. Probably move and rest, why not, if he's going to be doing some fighting. And then, in further turns, we can look to get him a ship ticket and get him up to Rome, and he can sort of uh, kick ass in Rome. Right, so... That's the basic ideas. I hope I didn't ramble too much, Log. I thought that was a bit more, um, there was a bit more clarity. And um, thanks very much for watching. This has been Turn 8 of Eldritch Horror and Cthulhu. Um, I hope you join me for Turn 9. But until then, thank you all very much for your subscriptions. Thanks very much for the views and for watching and for all the tips and the comments. Thank you very much. Uh, until Turn 9, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo. Thank you.